From the Playboy Mansion, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, heaven. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Here we are. It's the Buddy Ball, the Playboy Mansion, everybody. Take a look around. Look at this place. <laughs> Full of hot chicks. We got the Likettes here. We got the Imperial Showgirls here. It's out of control, for God's sake. It, it, Gary, you're, you're surrounded by naked chicks. Tom, if, if you're here, you understand this. But there's, there's sort of like, a, there's like a, a pulse to this whole thing, and it just went through the roof. The level of debauchery totally just jumped in the last 10 minutes. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm surrounded by a bunch of naked chicks out here. Uh, how you doing? I'm very good. What's your name? Madeline. Madeline. Uh, hey. hey, I'm Layla. Layla's uh, piping in there, too. Yes. <laughs> How we doing, Layla? Oh, yeah. It's a little on the cool side out here, but it's a little it's, it's warm enough in the tent, right? It's hot. Judging by your nipples, what would you say the temperature is? Muy caliente. <laughs> Muy caliente. There you go. I love that. <laughs> I love it. All right, so these girls are uh, uh, swimming uh, naked in the pool. When we were talking about having some people on, I wanted to have Joe Coy on because... This guy, is, it's like kind of become legend, but Joe Coy did Leno and absolutely killed it. I don't know if people, it, I mean, every comic knows about this. I don't know if the general public really understands this, but he did The Tonight Show with Jay Leno and absolutely killed. He slayed the audience. It was brutal. He, and, and may I say, uh, because because Jay Leno was so good, that's a hard show to slay. Oh on. no, it's it's it, it's like nearly I mean, impossible uh, in, to do it. Because remember, with Johnny Carson, uh, really let comedians you know come out there and shine. And Jay, you know, does a very long monologue. He does everything political. He takes up a lot of his own time, which is great because he's good and he works hard and everything. But but it's harder for a comedian to come out really great after appearing on there and. In my memory, and I watch The Tonight Show a lot, the number of comedians who, who, who slay on The Jay Leno Tonight Show, you can count on two hands, I think. It was absolutely brutal. And, you know, we've had Joe on before. But I would imagine, and I don't, we never talked about this, I would imagine he's still getting laid off that appearance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have, you have a son, though. I, I, are, are you married? Hey, that, uh, which is good. <laughs> yeah, but he's still which, getting laid. Which tells which the great. ladies, uh, uh, you know, I, I work, it works. <laughs> What work? Oh, you, yeah. Yeah, your stuff works. How, how can you bring me here to the place coming on this show? He's like, Joe, can you come to the Playboy? Are you serious? I'm already at the gate. I am here. My penis is inside, drinking. He's, I, I look so creepy walking around here, too. I have, like, no... I don't even care about being a dude about it. Like, I'm you're, like, can, you're, I, you're can act, I take a picture? You're, yeah, you're, can I take your picture? Is, uh, do you have any memory left on your cell phone? I'm out, you, dude. <laughs> this thing's got eight gigs on this thing. It says memory full. And I'm... Cre I don't even ask nicely, hi, late ma'am, can I... No, it's... Like, <laughs> I'm just clicking. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you can't be it, right? We're at the Playboy Mansion, Tom. Well, you see, you see how I'm doing the show here, right? I, now? Exactly. Look at Tom's got two chicks, gorgeous. <laughs> I was stalking abroad. this girl. Yeah, you, you kind of have a thing for the. Oh the, my god, the, tattoos, the one with the right? tattoos. Yeah, you like that? I've been following around the damn grotto, everything. <laughs> She's completely naked next to Tom. <laughs> You wanna... I slayed the Tonight Show. Does she not hear that? Joe, you should just throw the. It really... doesn't matter. She, just... He's Tom. Throw the really like kind of like shy Asian thing. On I her, did dude. that. She didn't care. I even had subtitles underneath me. 
She wasn't buying it. I even said I own property here in L.A. She went right to Tom. She does have some pretty elaborate tats, doesn't she? I complimented her. I said nothing but nice stuff. Tom, he bashes her. Goes right to Tom. No. She's gorgeous. You're very cute. Tom, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh, you listeners. If you're listening right now, if you could just see what I'm watching right now. She sort of has that smoky I'm, voice. I'm way off to the left of the stage. No. And Tom is dead center with two chicks, four breasts. <laughs> yes. Smeared on his body. Oh. By the way, you keep talking there, Joe. I'm, uh... I'm taking pictures. I'm putting this online, Tom. <laughs> this is... Uh... I'm busy over here. All I can say is thank you. I'm here to That's help it. you. Here comes the iPhone again. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to plug what, what's happening with my, with my career. But right now, it doesn't matter. You, you know, uh, this is yeah. what's happening yeah. with my career. No, actually, this. actually, Jamie Masada is waiting outside the gate with a gun. If we don't, yeah. if we don't mention yeah, exactly. that, that Joe Jamie. will be at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, make tonight sure you tomorrow, make sure it? you yeah, tell yeah, everybody that you're at Laugh Factory tonight. <laughs> two shows, two drink minimum, thirty dollar ticket. <laughs> <laughs> you don't love me, buddy. Yeah, you don't love me, buddy. Tom Likas don't love you, buddy. I love you, buddy. Hey, what does that sound like? He's on the speakerphone trying to get in outside. Yeah. I'm Jamie Masada, buddy. Good friend with Tom Likas. <laughs> I buy advertisement, buddy. <laughs> he doesn't buy anything, Tom. You know that. Of course. <laughs> buy I know. That's absolutely Everything's true. a donation with Jamie. Because that's like our company too, right? right? Yeah. Have you ever seen? Have you ever see? Uh, well, have you seen an ad lately for our radio station? <laughs> Ever. Because remember, here at CBS, <laughs> we don't buy advertising; we only sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Your ad here. Advertising doesn't work unless you buy an ad here. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> and hell, you're already listening here. So what the hell? Oh, Tom. What's her? What? First, you're beautiful. Don't get me. What, ta, ta, what is your name? Yes. Jennifer. Jen oh. Jennifer. The people, you don't understand. She is hugged up on Tom. And I'm over here in the cold. She's just... Like, I wasn't invited to the party, but I'm here. Yeah. I, maybe Jennifer could give Joe a little love. I don't see yeah, what the problem is. You might need a little attention. Come on, send, Jennifer, come on, Jennifer. Little, over though. there. What are you doing? There you go. Get up all in there. That's come on. Time. Thank you. Yeah. You know, Joe, Joe, do your, well, Michael, then I'm in do your Michael Jackson for her. I'm, I'm sure. gonna make a change. <laughs> <laughs> I need a kid though. I need a little kid, and that and that, and that impersonation would be on point. <laughs> there you go. Now you got a little attention there, Joe. Here you yeah. Oh, <laughs> I want my tattoo right here. Your tattoo. Yeah, I want my name's Joe Coy. I want the nipples to be the O's for Joe Coy. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Look at this. If I could. If you want to you want to ink that up? Is yeah. That what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is great. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> thank Mickey. I, I don't even know who I'm thinking. I'm just no, saying. Thank, thank Mickey. Yeah, Mickey's and, and Salza. And, and, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go thank, ahead. Thank these three them. guys yes. here. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Look how I'm the luckiest man alive right now. Aww. This is the best gift ever, Todd. I'm, I'm here to help, Joe. Happy holidays. Best. Thank you so much. <laughs> I got my show. I got a TV show on Comedy Central. Oh, you do? You know, we forgot to mention that. What, what's the deal on that? It's a, it's a sketch variety show. It's coming out in 08. This uh, writer strike will just happen. Yes. And uh, Tom, please, will I want naked, you on it. Will that have naked chicks? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right here. <laughs> That's how the beginning of the show is going to start. Joe Coy and then show. And then I pop between her legs. Hi! <laughs> This is great. They come out from behind the curtains. Oh, I love it. If you will. I'm, I'm, I, somehow I got flanked by a couple naked broads out here. I don't even know who they are. I, I, this is Desiree. awesome. It's Desiree. Everywhere. Desiree is here. And Cindy. And Cindy are both here. And are yes. you guys enjoying yourselves? Oh, uh, of course. Desiree yep. just pulled Cindy's I think, top I think, off. I think the boob just said yes. 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 <laughs> the boob said I am. Oh, uh, now they're just all grabbing oh at each other. Look at this. Oh, There's like six of them just bouncing over there. Oh my! This is oh Tom. All right, you got to do it right. Back to Joe and the tattooed girl. Yes. Thank you very much. So Comedy Central, it's yeah. going to be an 08 if the writers' strike ever ends. You know what? I don't care if the writers' strike ends. I just want to be on Tom's show forever. <laughs> <laughs> Screw my show. Can yeah. I just be your sidekick? We haven't had a writer here for nine minutes. <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> this is great. I'm starting to sound like Bill Cosby. Oh! Yeah, where'd, where'd that come from? Now I'm not you... even going to talk anymore. Oh! <laughs> this is... Ah. And Bill's been coming here for years. Now you know how he got that whole Exactly. Thing. <laughs> That's why he talks like that. Look at this. Oh, this is... Ah. The women here are... Ah. This is so beautiful. Look at my jello pudding, papa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. I got a gig in one hour. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going. It's That's a no true. show. I'm going to blame it on the rain. I'm not. I'm not and it's not even ja- raining anymore. I'm not taking Jamie's call. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should tell people you're at the Laugh Factory. Laugh Factory. If you want to come there tonight and tomorrow. No naked chicks, though. No. Unfortunately, no. Well, maybe these girls would like to go. Oh, uh, please. Yes? Oh, okay. It's on. You're all set? I can't wait. <laughs> Just five minutes ago, I was that creepy guy taking pictures of her. Yes, now it just went to a three drink Now, <laughs> Now she knows I'm Tom's friend. No, this sucks. Is, <laughs> oh, you know Tom? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> just a minute ago, you were over by the bathroom taking pictures of me. <laughs> Offering to buy a drink. It's a free bar. Hey, I'll go get it. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, my oh, I got goodness. a half hour special, too, Tom. Thanks to you. Oh, do tell. Last time I was on your show, I, I, you know, I just got off the Tonight Show, and then uh, right after that, uh, they offered me my half hour. So I take a half hour, and, and maybe the out. Tonight Show had more to do with that. <laughs> no, it was you. No, no, it was Tom. It's all Tom. No. Tom Likas show for sure. Everybody <laughs> talks about Tom. That's Jamie. He knows. Every time I tell people I'm going on the Likas show, they go like, "Really?" And then I go, "It's at the mansion." Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> This is great. I love that. Even the women clothed are gorgeous. This is re- this is absolutely Even ridiculous out here. Um, this young lady said that she's she's all natural and, and would like to flash oh, you guys. No, she's not. <laughs> no, so, you're not. Yeah, this is prove it. Well, let's let's. Oh, let's, let's she let is. Them, let's let them. Sp- oh, oh my God, they are. <laughs> oh, they are. They're wonderfully all natural. Oh, yes. all natural. There's the gravity hasn't affected that in any natural. way. That's, that's a really what, what would you say your cup size is? I, I would imagine you would know. I'm a full 34C. I was just measured by a plastic surgeon because I wasn't sure. You know what? My hands can actually measure that. Yeah, accurately. Maybe, maybe Joe, you would like to take. Uh, My hands are certified. You want to gauge that? If yeah. You, yeah. And you won't catch anything They're, either. Those are really perfectly shaped. Those are great. Yeah. I know, that you're, I know that your hands are full right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you wanna... As you can tell, look at these things. <laughs> Those are amazing. <laughs> and uh, your, yours are not natural, correct? Then very natural. Uh, really? Oh, yeah. Those oh. are natural. I can oh. see them from here. Okay. Not that I was looking from halfway right. across the room, but uh, those are definitely natural. How about that? Absolutely. All right. If... Um, if Joe's still with us, maybe he could just uh, go ahead and plug his stuff one more time. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, Joe. <laughs> I'm going to be in the grotto in about five well, minutes. We're almost going to pool out here. <laughs> we can't get arrested here, can we? Yeah, we can still. Right? Uh-huh. No, go ahead and try. <laughs> you have to work pretty I... hard. This is great. Yes. Laugh Factory tonight Laugh tomorrow. Factory. Comedy Central show coming out. Joe Coy, J-O-K-O-Y. Tom like uh, Joe Thank you, so much. you always got to throw the dot com on dot the com, end. Yeah, MySpace, yes. whatever. Yeah. I know your sister right Stacy Burke dot com. I was talking to her earlier. <laughs> <laughs> the entire dot com family has right. been here tonight. They're yes. all here. Yes, Tom. exactly. Tom, you're the best. Always good to see you, Joe. Thank you so much. And we provide uh, you know little amenities to people coming over here. Oh. This is better than the green room of the Tonight Show. There's a reason why I'm friends with you. I mean, if you were in the green room of the Tonight Show, would you be getting this? No, you get cookies. <laughs> cookies in a robe. <laughs> and then and then Jay goes, hey, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm glad, you, glad you had a hot time. Oh you killed. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh, Joe awesome. Coy, tonight and tomorrow at the Laugh Factory on the Sunset Strip in West Hollywood. Always good to see you. Thank you so much, Tom. Yeah, Thank Coy. you. Your telephone call's coming up. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. So what's a guy in for if he goes out with you? A good link. The Tom Likas Show.
It's the Tom Lycus Show coming to the Playboy Mansion. At 1-800-5800-TOM, it's our annual bunny ball. And it has uh, officially gone off to uh, the next level. It's crazy here. Uh, everybody knows our next guest, Holly Madison. What's up? Thanks for having me, Tom. I wore my sunglasses because I knew you would. I love that. Professor! <laughs> Woo! Holly Madison. Here she is. What's up? Everybody's having a good time? Yes. You're down in the red wine? Oh, yeah. Kicking yeah. back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about the red wine. Good stuff. Absolutely. So you're starting your fourth season on TV? Yes. Uh, it premieres on December 9th. We're all really excited about it. I've also got the Playmate Review I'm hosting on Playboy TV December 9th, too. So I'm double dipping that night. But That's Sunday. Yeah, it's all good stuff. I'm excited about it. So what, do you take up all the prime time now and E? Is that the deal? Trying. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it out there. The Girls Next Door, number one show on E. Number one for like three years, huh? It's exciting. It's, it's just been a really great ride, and we're excited to continue the whole thing. We're having a lot of fun doing it. Now, does it ever get a little old having these cameras following you around, what seems like everywhere? No, it's not that bad. You know, we don't have hidden cameras in the house or anything like that. The producers meet with us before we start a season and just ask us what we're doing. So we know ahead of time when they're going to show up. We don't get ambushed or anything crazy like that. So we've got it pretty good. Let me ask you this question that everyone yeah. wants the answer to, of course. Reality TV, how much of it is reality? We need to know. Uh, I would say about a good 90% of it. Every reality show always needs a little extra pieces of the puzzle to help put together the story. So sometimes you'll have to redo things or set things up again or do things in interviews. But if you ever want to find out what's real or fake, just get our DVDs, watch our commentary. Because we are the first people to call ourselves out. It's not like other reality shows where we're like, everything's real. Like if there's something fake, we... We hate doing fake stuff, so we're the first ones to call it out on our commentaries. So. Well, that's too much like work, I would imagine. Yeah, we like to keep it real. I see Stacy Burke. Woo! StacyBurke.com, there Former she is. Former Mike Hitt. Yes. <laughs> She's getting dirty over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell us, everybody wants to know about you and Hef. Where is that at now? It's where it's always been. We're just, you know, having a great time, being in love, you know, sharing everything and having a great time. Will he ever marry you? Probably not. Really? <laughs> Hasn't stopped me from planning the wedding. I know. What, now, do you have an ideal wedding if you were going to marry, uh, you're going to marry Hef, what it would be, where it would be? I, w I would have it here, and I would have 15 of the hottest bridesmaids anybody's ever seen in their life. Oh, I'll bet you would, too. Yes, I would. <laughs> it would be a spectacle. Oh, my. Have you actually made plans? Have you actually sat down? Did you ever pick out a wedding dress or ever uh, go that far? No, no. I, I just like to think about how I would do it my own style, because yeah. every, girl, every girl plans their wedding, but, you know. Hey, Tom. It's fun stuff. Yeah. Where's the mystery voice coming from? Out by the grotto. Uh -huh. Oh, there you are, Gary. The, the word out by the grotto is that that you want to have a kid really badly. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, every girl wants to have kids eventually, and I, I definitely do one day. You, but ultimately, little hefts running around would be your the dream, the dream idea? Yeah, that'd be awesome. And how does Hef feel about that? I mean, for, let's let's throw the marriage thing out for for a second. Yeah. How does Hef feel about the baby thing? He says if he's able to do it, he'll do it. What so do you mean? We'll he, what, what do you mean able? Well, we'll we'll see we'll see if the <laughs> sperm works. I guess. Oh, no. Real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Are you are you are, is Hef putting some aside for you or something? Or what do you mean if it works? I don't know. I don't know. We're trying. Planned? We're trying. We'll see. Really? Yeah, we'll see. Wow. And, and word is, too, is that you, you're doing a lot of the stuff for the magazine these days, correct? You pick the girls, a lot of the girls for the magazine and, and work out the shoots and everything? I don't pick the girls, have picks the girls, but I work down at the Playboy studio and I direct the Playmate shoots and I work with all the really talented people there and it's just a blast. It's a lot of fun. Now, Tom, the trippy thing about Holly is that she's like always, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think she's always like pursued education. Am, am I correct? You yeah, I always 
always need stuff to keep my mind occupied and to keep me busy. And the job I have now is just amazing. You know, I get to utilize my creativity and work with a lot of great people. And I'm, I'm just obsessed with it. I love it. And I read something uh, about you making your way through school by being a Hooters girl. And uh, Yeah, I love yeah. working at Hooters. I think that's really? the, best, the best waitressing job out there. And when you're in college, you got to do something like that. So I had a lot of fun at Hooters. Oh, wow. So you've been going to school for love a while. Love you, too. You've been going to school for a while. You've attended a couple of different uh, Yeah, I never institutes. graduated college. I went um, for three years, and then I went and got a certificate in real estate investment at UCLA Extension, and I've taken some business classes at Santa Monica College, so it's all good stuff. Does that surprise people when they find that out about you? Yeah, I think it probably surprises people. I think a lot of people think that a girl in my situation would just kind of sit around and do nothing. but Because many do. But it, it's you know that that stuff gets old. It's more fun to challenge yourself. I think it's really cool. Thank I mean, you. Nobody expects to see that, and uh, anybody who's watched the show or seen you interviewed knows that there's a brain in there. Thanks. Which Thanks. is great. Yeah, I, I try and show that. Like to try and set a good example. We'll see. <laughs> Tom, I You're steaming to... up my glasses, Tom. I, yeah, look, she, <laughs> she broke out the shades just for you, Tom. I totally love it. I, I, I don't remember the answer to this. What's the age difference between you and half? Oh, gee, I don't even remember Come on. anymore. Well, he's 82, and I am 27, so that's... Do the math, Tom. Uh, 55, what is that? 55 years. Wow. And, and Holly, are your parents still around? And, and if so, what do they think about that? Yeah, they're they're cool with it. You know, they just know I'm following my dream, and, you know, they, they've met Hef, and they're happy if I'm happy. It's got to be pretty trippy for them, because aren't you originally from, like, Alaska or something? Yeah, my family lives in Oregon now, but I grew up in Alaska. And don't all the hot chicks leave Alaska? Uh, probably. I don't know. You want to tell her about her experience in <laughs> yeah, Alaska, though? Yeah, see, what I, happened? I was sued by a listener in Juneau. Uh oh. And I had to go up there and be on trial for two months. You're kidding. And so every night uh, after we'd been on trial in the morning and then did our show in the afternoon, I would be uh, in, in the middle of winter in Juneau when there's nobody there. Legislature's had a session, so there's nobody in town. We were the only people staying at our hotel, for example, the only mm-hmm. ones. Uh, we went out to bars at night, and we saw some scary-looking women. Oh, man. I mean, that, that is the home of the wildebeest. i got to tell you, it's amazing stuff. Alaska's definitely different. It's kind of a cool place to grow up. No, but Holly, this was like the real deal. This was like a freak show. It was like the, oh, it was like the bearded lady and stuff. Yes. There were women with full-blown, like, mustaches and well, beards. How and did stuff. you know they were women then? Uh, because the bartender told us. Oh. Yes. Otherwise, we wouldn't have known. <laughs> Because they were hitting on Gary. Yeah. That's how we know. For God's sake. I don't go the bearded way if no, I can. No, neither do I. Yeah, not, even stubble won't do it for me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, uh, so you enjoyed doing the show. You had the box set. You had a box set that came out, didn't you? It was just the first two seasons. What came out on DVD? Yeah, the first two seasons are out on DVD and available now. And season three will come out next month. So we're really excited about that. Wow. And what do you want to take all this? What do you want to do? Now you've got all this experience. You've... You've been to school, you've been with him, you've lived here at the mansion, you've done you know, four seasons of a TV show. Yeah, more of the same. We want to do another season of Girls Next Door. I'd love to do a spinoff about the work at the studio and all the great girls that come through there. And I love my job there, so more of the same. And you've got a, a movie coming up as well? Well, yeah, Brian Grazer is working on a movie about Hef's life, so he's really busy trying to help with that, and he's really occupied with the script. So, Did you guys do something um, for Adam Sandler? Oh, yes, that movie. Yeah, that is a movie called I Know What Boys Like. How many with movies Anna are you Ferris. doing? <laughs> oh, that movie. Yeah, that one. Uh, with Anna Ferris called I Know What Boys Like, and it should be a really funny comedy. It's like interviewing Jude Law. Oh, that movie. <laughs> it's one of the six I put out this month. <laughs> Unbelievable. So uh, what's the movie about? What's your part? What's it like? I play, I just have a little part. I play myself. Anna Ferris plays a Playboy bunny who gets kicked out of the mansion and takes over a nerdy sorority. Really? Yes. It's going to be really funny. The script is really funny. And did you meet Adam Sandler and work with him? No, I didn't. He was here, but I didn't work with him or anything. Okay. Yeah. He's a cool guy, kind of quiet. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy from what yeah, I hear. Absolutely. So is it all fun? Does it ever get difficult? No, no. I mean, the most difficult thing is trying to balance everything that's going on, but I'm very blessed, and I love all of it, so it's awesome. Well, women love your show. Guys love your show. It's huge. Big Thanks. deal. You're a big deal. Thank what can you. I say? You're a big deal. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much.
Thanks for coming by. Thank you for having me, Tom. Holly Madison, the girls' next door begins season four this Sunday. Look for that. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. All the things that you tell guys to do, he has done to me. And he's probably a lot happier now. Without me? Yeah. See, why would you say something like that? The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas show. And I'm here meeting people, hanging out, shaking hands, kissing baby. Somebody's babies. Thank you for tuning in. It's the Buddy Ball for the Playboy Mansion. And we are here uh, at your disposal here at 1 800 5800 Tom. It's 1 800 5800 866. It's just you and me now for the rest of this hour. Let's go. Clark on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Man, you, you know, you're so lost, man. You're always right. I listen to you. I'm convinced, man. To be at the Playboy Mansion, I wish I could be there. Wondering if I could get the ladies to scream out my name. I don't think the ladies are paying attention to you, Clark. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Oh, man, it's all good, Tom. The ladies are swimming. The ladies are naked. The ladies are cruising the room. Oh, man, I believe you, man. So, hey, I just wanted to give a shout-out. You know, it's Friday night. Just got off of work. Love the show. Anybody who tries to contest with you, Tom, you always put them down. And that's right, man. You're the man. Thank you, Clark. Have a good one, Tom. You too. Appreciate the call. Lee on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad, how you doing? Doing okay, sir. All right, I'm envious, I tell you. I'd love to be out there right now. Oh, you got to see it. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, I can only imagine. Especially hanging with Joe Coy. He's a hell of a comedian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But um, anyway, the um, um, reason I'm calling is just uh, proud to be on the phone with you because uh, I'm a new student. Uh, I'm a reformed, uh, raised by a single mom, be nice to women pussy. Oh, boy. And um, I'm reformed now, thanks to Like Us 101. What a relief. Oh, you have no clue. You have no clue. Uh, went out to dinner uh, with this chick. Actually, we went out for drinks and appetizers. And uh, she took two quick phone calls, which kind of ticked me off. And I'm sitting there reflecting on the 101 rules. So she gets off the phone pretty quick, and I'll be darned she takes another call. At that point, I got up. She's like, where are you going? I said, well, I'm going home. And she's like... But what about me? How am I supposed to get home? I'm like, hey, that's your problem. Whoever you're talking to on the phone can take you home. <laughs> and she put her hand up in the L formation for loser. And I said, that's right, baby. Like us, and don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. And I went over to the waiter. I paid him for my drink and my appetizer. And I got in the car, and I went and hit the strip. Found some new ass, and it was all good, baby. I love that. Now, did she ever try to call you or text you after that? And she calls me all the time. And you know what my favorite line is with women? Back in the day, because I didn't used to have pain, I would just put up with anything. But my favorite line now is, hey, I won't be offended if you lose my number. <laughs> you know? And then they want you more than ever. More than ever. Right? More than ever. More than ever. Everything you're teaching is the truth. Thank you for spreading the gospel to all of us, um, uh, all the pussies that are out there now. Hopefully they'll become reformed pussies, and everything will be all good. Thank Lee, you, Dad. Lee, I am so proud of you. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. KJ on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, KJ. Tom, I'm jealous. Y'all down there sound like having a good time. We up here in Michigan shoveling the snow. Yeah, I know how it is. Tom, I, I, I called. I want to talk to you about two things real quick. First, I want to know if you heard about uh, Senator Craig now. There's apparently eight gay men that have come forth and said they've had sex with him. Well, I had heard a rumor about that. Do we know who these guys are now? Uh, I couldn't remember their names. They were on MSNBC last night. And I was thinking about you because you always say gay men and straight men have a lot in common. That's right. I kind of didn't really believe you on that. 
But after this interview, I agree with you 100%. Neither gay or straight men care where they have sex at all, as long as they get laid. That's right. I mean, to us men, everybody's a human toilet. <laughs> I, I, I know that. And, and secondly, I wanted to know if you heard about the uh, black firefighters in D.C. It, it was determined that they hung the nooses themselves to try and frame the whites and to be a racist. And as a black man, I think those two guys should go to jail. I don't know if you've ever been to the Midwest, but the Midwest is extremely segregated, and we have real issues of racism. Well, I've, any I've, issue of racism like that makes the national news. It waters down all the real issues of racism that happen in the Midwest. Well, in Ann Arbor, Michigan, we just had a national Ku Klux Klan rally, and we can't get any attention on that because these idiots out here uh, keep keep uh, faking and trying to frame, you know, decent uh, people that are minorities. Wow. Well, we have been to the Midwest, and we've been in Detroit many times, and I've been to St. Louis and Chicago, Fort Wayne. So I've, I've been all over the Midwest. I've seen what you're talking about in terms of segregation. I mean, Detroit is like a donut. You know, you got the black hole in the middle, and then you got the, the white uh, outside. It's pretty much exactly. the, that's the way it works. And you got all the people <laughs> who live outside of Detroit all say they live in Detroit. Exactly. I know it. I know it well. Well, thanks, Tom. You take me out, Kobe style. Here you go, KJ. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Joseph is calling from Tijuana on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Joseph. How you doing? Long time no talk. I'm doing great. Great. Well, I guess I don't know if I'm being explaining to you, but my wife is giving me a nice early birthday present and an early Christmas present. What's that? She's taking me. Well, actually, you're already here. Uh, we're in TJ. And she's picking me up a couple of girls, and we're going to have a foursome between the three of us. Are you serious? Quite serious. Wow. And the reason why she's doing that, I'm getting ready to leave before Christmas to go on my fourth tour out in Iraq. Oh, my. Look at that. So she figured she'd give me just, just enough worst-case scenario. I don't come back. At least I got something for my birthday and Christmas. Oh, my. That, well, I'll tell you what, that's got to be the coolest wife in the universe. Oh, yeah, she's standing right here. Unbelievable. We've been driving, we've been on a whole, we, from, the, from the start of the show, we took off, and we just got here about half an hour ago. Does she know her way around, TJ? Does she know where to find these chicks? Well, I'll just put it this way, her, uh, a friend of mine spoke to her about this place, and she thought it, he thought it would be a good idea to take me there. It's a, a place at the motel. At the hotel, where it's, let's put it this way, the rooms are equivalent to what you would pay for like $300 in, in California, but down here it's like 89 bucks. <laughs> and which you, Hi, Tom. Uh, hi. Did you hear? Yes. He, he, said, he said hi back. Uh, um, what, you, what, you, what they do is you call room service and you tell them what you want. They send you five and you figure out what you want. And you have a little fun. And then they send it up. Yeah, and she's picking out two for me. Holy cow. So I'm kind of curious what her taste is for me. Look at that. Does, yeah, she, have any idea got... what you, does she have any idea what you would like? Uh, I'm leaving it all up to you. As far as I know, I think she's probably get something similar to her, but I, I hope not. I don't want to get some priority for a change. Wow. But uh, it's all her idea, and... And you know, when she picks them out, she's going to tell them exactly what to do. And I'm supposed to lay there and just let it happen. <laughs> well, Joseph, good luck to you. Have a great holiday. Uh, yeah. And come back home safely, will you? There he goes. He hung up. He must be heading for his threesome right now. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Wide open telephones from the Playboy Mansion. Robert is calling from Albuquerque where he's listening on the online stream on the Tom Likas show. Hello. I have I went against your rules. 
Which rule did you go against, Robert? I thought that I had the broken clock, that I was the exception, and I was wrong. Uh-huh. I was with uh, a girl for over a year and a half. You know, she was from another country, so I thought that might, you know, that might make her uh, an exception. You're always saying how they're the exception. Uh, or not always, but, you know, that they sometimes are the exception. And, uh, nope, they're all the same. Wow. I, uh, her birthday was uh, in November, and uh, the, I spent uh, about $100 on uh, fancy jewelry for her, and uh, the bitch did not wear it. She was ungrateful. She was just like, oh, you know, whatever. Thanks, I guess. And uh, so I uh, lost it with her and stopped talking to her. And uh, how do you feel now that you dumped that bitch? I feel amazing. Um, you have a book up on your website, that ebook, uh, The Great Female Con, and I bought it the other night, and I'm starting to read it, and it's just, I've turned around in the past two weeks. Um, I don't believe in relationships, and I'm already going out on uh, my first date tomorrow. <laughs> Good for you. And it's just, it's an honor talking to you. Robert, I'm proud. You learned a hard lesson. I did, and it's very sad, and uh, I'm attending college now, and I'm hoping that I can eventually get to USC and uh, live the lifestyle down in California. Well, that's what you should be doing. Uh, you uh, know, you know. by the way, I am here trying to keep you from getting hurt like that. You understand that, right? Yes, I understand that completely. Uh, I, uh, every time I go to work, uh, I, uh, I get to listen to you on my iPod, so <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to about a year's worth of podcasts now. <laughs> Very good, Robert. Well, uh, I'm proud of you. I'm happy that it finally happened. <laughs> good for you, Robert. Thank you very much for that. Can you blow me up, Tom? Of course I can. This is Bryant on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Great. Oh, man, I know you are right now where you are, huh? Of course. you got to be wonderful over there. I am... So envious. It's perfect. Anyways, Tom, uh, I've been calling you out. I called last week to try and get to you, and, and things didn't work out, but I need your advice. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. Okay. I, I started seeing this girl, and she's got a boyfriend, or, well, she had a boyfriend and whatnot. We had gone out a couple times, and nothing had really come of it. So then... I, I was just wondering, you know, I, I wasn't, I'm not planning on breaking, breaking the three strikes you're out rule, but I'm wondering what you would have me do for the next step so that I can seal the deal. Well, how close have you come? Nothing's happened yet. Nothing's happened? Well, I think it's because she had a boyfriend and she's feeling kind of guilty about it. Does she still have a boyfriend? As of a couple of days ago, no, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Well... You're just going to have to, uh, you know, make your last desperate attempt here and then be done with it. So what would you suggest as a last desperate attempt? No dinner, no long conversations, some alcohol, and then go in for the move and see if it works. I like that. I think I can do that. You know, but don't make it some big romantic deal because I, that will definitely guarantee it won't happen. Yeah, no, I understand. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. And she listens to you. She's probably listening right now. Uh-huh. She's always, the last couple times we went out, all we talked about is you. Well, and, I, ho uh, I hope she uh, is listening now because she should know that if nothing happens on the next date, it's the last time she's going to see you. Yeah. Hopefully she is listening then, huh? Hopefully. All right. Thanks a lot, Professor. Well, Brian, good luck to you. I'm running out of time here, but I... Thank you for the call. Hey, our thanks today to Joey Diaz, Hugh M. Hefner for being with us, Colin Kelly, Mr. Flat Buns, Joe Coy, Holly Madison, Mickey's Big Mouth, Salsa Ornitos, 97.1, the FM talk station, Los Angeles, Elvis, Art, Gary, Dino. Thank you. Tom Likas Show.